Good morning, guys. Uh, today is sixth of February, two thousand fifteen, uh, and I'm watching pound dollar chart weekly time frame. Uh, I'm going to analyze uh, uh, today a weekly, daily, four hour, and one hour. I'm trying to build the mindset uh, of today trading. Um, uh, let's start. Okay, so. On a weekly basis, I can see the price. Uh, if, if if I look at the previously, uh, you can see this uh, you know bullish inside bar pattern, and uh, it look like the price respected the support area, and after that, basically, you can see uh, the price is coming up, and uh, and the, in the support area at the bottom, if you look at the flax, uh, you know stochastic. And you can see there's a nice divergence. So it gives us a you know, feeling that price basically is in a bullish. Um, this is I'm talking about in weekly chart. And uh, let's see uh, on daily basis. So, right. So in daily basis, what I see here, uh, again, uh, and, you know, this is support area. You can see in daily basis uh, the divergence. Uh, you can see the top and the bottom and you can see the top and bottom and basically that's clear diversion and uh, the stochastic uh, is also decreasing I can see here and uh, yesterday uh, the trade basically the price broken the previous uh, resistance uh, right and still going up and uh, but we have if you look at and we have like these two we have another resistance here uh, that's ahead and uh, uh, let's see what's happening in four hour right so in four hour uh, you can see the price is already um, you know broken the home base and still going up and the momentum is still is bullish so and ahead we have to consider that is the trend resistance and if the price break this trend resistance then probably we have a target here uh, in the flex channel so right now uh, still i can see the bullish is in is in a strength but if you look at this uh, again this is candle inside bar candle and then again we had it bullish outside bar candle and then again it's appearing, uh, you know, the bearish candle uh, in four hour. So let's see in in one hour. Okay, so in one hour, uh, I can see there's a huge, uh, you know, uh, bullish rally, and uh, psychological, I'm expecting uh, the price uh, needs some retracement. So there there might be a counter trade opportunity, uh, but. Uh, to do that, so that's my area. Uh, if the price break, uh, you know this area, uh, then I might be looking for, you know, counter trade. And if the price break this, uh, you know, resistance area, then I'm looking for buy opportunity. But uh, if I, you know, if the price break and you know is a counter trade, uh, my expectation is price might come back and respect this area uh, and and if the price break above and then I can see ahead I have a three resistance number one that's the you know daily uh, for our resistance and that's the flex channel uh, sometimes also perform as a resistance as you can see here uh, and we have the Bollinger Band too so let's see how it's, it's going to you know perform today uh, but for now at the moment uh, if i'm looking counter trade if the price break this uh you know resistance this triangle uh, and, and and both ways we have opportunities but as the momentum uh, in four hour and uh, you know and in, in, in one hour is still bullish uh, but the stochastic is still is under 20 so you know I'm expecting there should be some counter trade retracement but to do to, to consider 
taking a counter trade again I'm going to jump into the five minutes uh, to get the confirmation uh, and then I'm going to act accordingly right so today uh, I don't think so we have any news for pound and uh, and today is Friday too so it's, it's gonna be quite tricky uh, to to you know find a good trade but that's the opportunities as far as I, I know today and, and let's see how it perform uh, how the price react today um, alright so guys so let's see how it goes